Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Data. So uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank all the viewers and subscribers who have taken time out uh, to view this channel. So uh, thank you for being a part of this extended family. Well, uh, today's video is uh, quite interesting and it is about one of the most discussed uh, topic that any machine learning or a data science enthusiast often finds confusing and it is which projects should I take on? Well, not to worry, I'm here at your rescue and this video contains a list of top 5 projects in no particular order and the source for these projects is Kaggle and the links are posted in the description box below. So, the project number one, according to me, is House Prices, Advanced Regression Techniques. And this competition is basically a great fit for machine learning or data science enthusiasts who just begun their journey. And because this will allow you to practice more and get, get more hands-on on, on uh, regression techniques, maybe implement uh, gradient boosting. And if I just uh, scroll down, here is the competition description, which tells that you know there are 79 explanatory variables which describes every aspect of residential homes and this competition basically challenges you to predict the final price of each home so the practice skills are some creative feature engineering advanced regression techniques like random forest or maybe gradient boosting so that's uh, one project you know the pr project number two could be tmdb box office worldwide prediction and this contains metadata of over nearly 7000 films and the main aim here is to predict the worldwide box office revenue and this is another regression problem so this can also be a you know great fit for people who are trying to get a hands-on on uh, machine learning and here as you can see that the we have to predict the worldwide revenue for nearly 4,000 movies in the test files. So that's another. Uh, moving on to project number three, which is uh, the famous uh, Titanic data set, the legendary Titanic competition, which will help you to get familiarized with uh, classification problems. And the, you know, the goal is uh, simple. You have to predict which passengers have survived the Titanic shipwreck. So that's another classification problem. And uh, of course, you can download the data from the data tab. And for more details, you can just scroll down this. That's the data dictionary, which will tell you the variable uh, survival and uh, P class and so on. There are more variables and there are more details to this. And of course, you can uh, navigate to the notebooks in case you want more details and in case you want help from uh, you know the fellow Kaglers, their workbooks you can explore uh, their work and then maybe you can work on your own so that's another project so project number four could be a digit recognizer which will basically help you learn computer vision fundamentals and this computation is basically a perfect fit to learn neural network techniques and this is basically a data set of uh, various handwritten images and here the aim is to identify the correct digits from a data set of those images and the practice skills as you can see here this is basically a classification problems which will uh, help you introduce you to uh, support vector machines k nearest neighbors and uh, some computer vision fundamentals so that's also another project that you can take on. So project number five could be real or not NLP with disaster tweets. So this competition or this challenge is a great fit to help you get started with natural language processing. And this basically competition is all about prediction of uh, tweets, you know, identification of uh, which tweets are about disasters or not. So here, as we can see that the competition challenges you to build a machine learning model that predicts which tweets are about real disasters and which one are not. And uh, you'll have access to data set of nearly 10,000 uh, tweets which were hand classified. So. And if you are new to natural language processing, there is also a great, uh, a quick tutorial that will help you get started. 
so that's another project that you can take on so this was a list of just five projects to help you get started on the journey you know the list can be extended uh, to more projects like customer segmentation recommender systems and so on so i hope that you like this video and feel free to drop a comment in case you find this beneficial or you think that you have some other project in mind that can be beneficial uh, to a beginner or you know to enhance your machine learning uh, or data science uh, skill set so do like share and subscribe to this channel thank you so much